I'm Dr. Angela McBurdy of drflute.com, and today's practice with me, Shamanad, measures 33 through 70. I've lumped all of this together, so I'm not, div- I did two 15 measures at the beginning, and now I'm putting a bigger section together because it's very similar um, in what you need to work on. This section is Pio Animato, so a little more animated means a little bit faster. When I think animated, I think a crisper articulation. Do more with my dynamics so that if it says soft, I really get soft. If I need to get louder, I'm crescendoing. And um, that there's more uh, zip and style in this part here. So the opening is just all this lugubrious sounds. It just flows from one to the other. Even with the runs, it doesn't sound hurried. It's just beautiful. The runs um, show off the melody more. And now we get to be a little bit more mysterious and sneaky and perky. You get to be all these different characters. So when you start here, you're starting Pio Animato. You wanna get a little darker in color. This D has a tenuto, so really make sure you don't skip over it and we hear it. Now what I like to think here is that I spring off that da-da-da-da-dum, ta, and I jump into the accented B, uh, B flat there. And really just good articulation, and it's almost like it jumps out at you. Now, come in a little bit, just a little bit softer than that. Because if you start too loud, you can't do that little growth. There's a little bit of a growth in there. I'm growing that a little bit. And then continue. Now here's another stringenda. So I'm just, I don't want someone listening to think, oh, you're just getting faster through there. I want them to think, oh, you're building excitement. So I am pushing the tempo, but I'm not doing it in such a way, hopefully, that someone listening in the audience would think that I'm just getting faster. And that's where I would stop getting faster. Now I'm just gonna hold. And if you listen to the piano, this part, um, really know what is going on in the piano. It really helps to know how your part fits in. Here, I'm just not gonna be too soft because if I was with the piano, it wouldn't be heard. It's in the low register. But I wanna think light, maybe. Make sure you don't take your breath until after you do that little grace note. And then you've crescendoed. Make sure you do that trill with your thumb. And again, after it. And now, little spunky part. And that's fun because you start off simple, you get to add a little bit more, then you add a little bit more, and then you're up to that high E flat. Here, you're getting spunky as you're building through this little section. A little bit more. And make sure you accent that E flat. and you're coming down, but I'm really not gonna worry about that diminuendo. I'm just going to let the notes take me down without me even thinking diminuendo. And then forte. So you're going from your eighth notes to 16th notes, to the triplet 16th notes, and then you're backing off softly, okay? That is this area. Now you can apply that to the next area, except that you're building to the climax of this opening section with your high 
B flat. So make sure that you're bringing it up to that climax, that that's the biggest part of your whole piece. Then you come back down a little bit, you have a stringendo, and you get prepared for what's about to come, the vivo. That's today's practice with me. Have fun working on that in measures 33 through 70. If you like this video, press the like button, subscribe, share it with your friends, and comment below.